What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. This video is just a quick little update and mini guide that might prove very handy to you if you happen to have any alt characters that you've been wanting to work on. As I'm sure you've seen already, there have been a few catch-up mechanics added into Shadowlands with patch 9.1, mainly things like faster renown gains and some account-wide goodies like transferable soul ash and bind on account Corthian armaments for some easy 200 item level gear. While those are all pretty nice to have for a fresh character, there has been one topic that I don't think Blizzard really planned around newer patches, the acquisition of legendary memories. These are special drops that come from a variety of sources like PvP, dungeon bosses, Torghast, and more. The big issue with these specific drop sources is that some of them come from Castle Nathria, which was the patch 9.0 raid, and you'd be pretty hard pressed to find groups of people running it since it's outdated, and it'll only get harder as the expansion goes on to find these groups for it. Previously, the only item in the game that could help relieve this issue was the Chronicle of Lost Memories, which is sold from a Covenant Quartermaster once you've permanently reinforced four of the anima streams from your anima conductor. And this process takes almost a month and a half to do, which is, uh, kinda not that great of a way of getting hold of a legendary power that you might really be needing for your fresh alt that you're trying to swap to, or just so you can get it caught up. Thankfully, a new source has been added for the Chronicle of Lost Memories, as you'll now be able to purchase them for 2,000 cataloged research each from Archivist Rosier, the Quartermaster for the Archivist Codex reputation in Corthia. I previously did a video explaining how to unlock this reputation, but with this being a pretty new and really handy item, I figured it'd be important to let you all know about it. There is a bit of a catch to this though, and that's that you have to reach tier 3 with the Archivist Codex reputation on any character that you want to buy Chronicles with. I'm honestly not someone who plays alts really at all, but I did have my druid collecting dust and I figured I would see exactly how quickly I could reach tier 3 with the Archivist on a character that has done literally nothing in Corthia and it was honestly pretty darn fast, like in under an hour or an hour and a half. The big stipulation is that you have to have a main character that is at least at tier 4 with the Archivist Codex, because then you can pick up a ton of the one-time quest relic items and you'll hit tier 3 practically instantly. Having your main character at tier 5 makes it even easier since you can purchase the research report for Ancient Shrines, giving you access to three more relics that you can get reputation from. All of these relics are scattered around Corthia, so to make it easy, I'll be leaving a bunch of coordinates and notes in a pinned comment below so you can track them down a little easier. Each of these items, when turned into the Archivist, will net you 500 reputation, and it takes 7500 reputation to reach Tier 3 from just Tier 1. This means you'll need to find 15 relics. Maybe a little less, because if you kill any rares or pick up any relic fragments from things, you can hand those in too. And while it might sound a bit daunting to have to track down 15 of these special relics, it's actually not too bad, because even my lowly 195 item level druid was able to skulk around Corthia and get it done. A couple important things you'll want to know. You need to purchase the Corthian Relic Chest Keys from the Archivist, as the four of those are also an account-wide unlock from your main. The same goes for the Repaired Rift Keys and the Teleporter Repair Kits, as you'll want at least a few of each of those, because there are two rares that come from the Teleporter Spawns for the Chamber of Knowledge and Chamber of Wisdom, where you can get, between the two of them, four Relic Rewards, which is pretty huge in itself. Again, as long as you have a main character who has reached Tier 4, you'll have access to all of this stuff on your alt. If your main is already above Tier 5 and you've bought the research report for the Ancient Shrines, then you'll want to try and grab those too, but you might run into a bit of trouble reaching the Bulwark of Divine Intent. This is the one that's located on the big floating island to the west of Corthia, and if the character you're farming these Relic Quest rewards on hasn't done much of the Chains of Domination quest chain, then you probably won't have access to the grappling hook points that are supposed to let you cross over the floating islands. Thankfully, if you climb up that really big chain that goes above Hope's Ascent over the mountain part, you can use a Goblin Glider Kit and just barely make it to the big island. If you have a Dark Moon Cannon from the Dark Moon Fair, you can use that to make it a little easier. Once you reach Tier 3, the Chronicle of Lost Memory will be purchasable. Unfortunately for classes like Druids with their 17 billion different legendary options, the Chronicle can give you any legendary your class can use that you don't already have, and with these costing 2,000 research each, that can get very expensive very quickly. 
I'd personally recommend still getting all the easier to acquire legendary memories throughout the Shadowlands first before you use any of these chronicles, as you can help narrow down the chances of getting the one that you actually want to get that way. The chronicles are also smart enough to notice what legendary memories you have in your bags that you haven't learned yet, so thankfully you can't accidentally get the same memory twice just because you haven't learned it. I really, really hope that they make the Chronicles give spec-specific legendary memories instead, as I can only imagine how annoying it would be to spend tens of thousands of cataloged research just to get one specific power that you want. Until then, I hope this little video helps get your alts caught up a little faster. If so, let me know in the comments, or maybe leave a like on the video if you want, as they're both really helpful to the channel's growth. If you need any other WoW-related information, I have quite a lot of guides on various topics, so feel free to check out the rest of the channel. And as always, my appreciation and gratitude to all of my viewers and especially my patrons, who all help make these sheba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.